Well, the tradition that I started today, tradition, um, will make this here look quite empty soon. Um, Uruguay beat Portugal uh, 2 1. Messi and Ronaldo out on the same day, of course. Everyone's talking about that. Um, yeah, I think it was deserved. Uh, Uruguay outworked Portugal. They seemed even. They seemed a better Portugal, uh, given Portugal's performance at Euro 2016. Defensively, extremely sound, except maybe for 10 minutes after the break. Uh, other than that, um, I think this was great performance. And then they have the two superstar strikers on front, who are also working for the team like crazy. Um, was an impressive performance. I think they will give France definitely a run for their money. Um, Cavani scored the opener after seven minutes. At that moment, I thought, well, this will be a one nothing game. Um, I expected a 0-0 out of, out, of, out of this one, to be honest. Um, I think both defenses are rather strong, so hence I would, was thinking that there won't be many goals. Well, there were three goals. So after seven minutes, Cavani scores the opener with his head or cheekbone or whatever. It was actually a very impressive move. I mean, the ball was on Cavani's side. He crosses all over to Suarez on the left side, who then finds Cavani running into the box after uh, he sees... He was actually standing there, kind of trotting around, and suddenly he makes a sprint in the, into the box and great cross right into the nets. Then Portugal, of course, had more of the game and uh, seemed a little bit like the France-Argentina game from the afternoon. But um, never with that urgency behind it. Ronaldo had his free kick, of course, that was not uh, very well done. Uh, Suarez had a free kick that went straight through the Portuguese wall. I mean, this wall was an amateur wall, I have to say. Uh, that didn't look good if the balls go through the wall. Yeah, and I'd, I always thought that Uruguay is fully in control. Second half, Portugal came out a little bit uh, stronger and got the equalizer by Pepe because everyone was fo focusing on Ronaldo. Pepe was standing on the edge of the box and sneaking himself into it. And at that point, I thought, who this game could turn around? It was right at that point where I thought that Uruguay might have put too much work in and they could, f it, the game could turn, but not even 10, 10, 10 minutes later. Um, counter attack. Well, I think it was four and three, four and four. Um, and the ball is played to Cavani, who takes it directly into the corner of the goal. It was a wonderful goal. Maybe the goalkeeper was a little bit out of position, so uh, could be that on, on him too. Uh, Muslera let the ball that once fall in the box, which could have been a foul, but I think it was not too bad. And then uh, open net was not to be for Portugal. They tried and tried and tried and then on top of it they got too emotional and even if they would have made it, Ronaldo would have not played against France, which would have been a big um, downer, I would say, if Ronaldo doesn't play in the quarterfinal. So maybe it was better to be out. Uh, personally, at first I thought the last thing I of the four possible matchups out of the two matches today, the one that I wanted to see least was France versus Uruguay, but they were both deserved wins, so I'm fine overall. Um, if Argentina would have won, I would not have cared today. Uh, but I gotta be honest with you, I thought it would be fitting if Ronaldo and Messi leave on the same day. And I also have to say that the World Cup is not the tournament of those two. Uh, for Ronaldo, it's kind of, you know, Portugal is a strong team, but it's not the five-star top-level team that will go for a World Cup. Uh, it is Ronaldo and others. And Argentina is to a degree the same. I mean, last time they made the run all the way to the final, they were more of a team then than they were this time around. They also were fresher. Uh, what the future holds for the both of them, I think... Given that how they keep themselves in shape, I mean, Ronaldo would be in four years 37, but I don't exclude the fact that he will be still in awesome shape. And, you know, as a striker on the front, he still could be dangerous. I mean, he could come on as a substitute as well. I even think that Messi would have another World Cup in him. 
maybe not in the central position and I don't know I mean I slowly get the idea that Messi is this quiet dictator over a team where Ronaldo is the uh, loud one so I don't know maybe Argentina they probably will have to rebuild a little bit too and find a new team and I don't know about Ronaldo I think Portugal proved two year, years ago that even without a Ronaldo they can win a big tournament as they did they really did uh, Ronaldo actually won this tournament as a player and as a coach beat that I have to say so let's do the honors goodbye Portugal my two Portugal jerseys go into the closet the 2012 one is actually the one that I like more has a very classic look to it with the green collar and the sleeves with a nice cross pattern here and before I do the other one let's talk quickly in the jersey matchup of course uh, as expected Uruguay in blue and black Portugal in white I gotta have I gotta say if Uruguay plays in their home jersey and the other one plays in white it's kind of a little bit of boring matchup but it makes sense and of course the mosquitoes on Portugal's away jersey uh, uh, it's a pattern that I don't get to and then let's get rid of the other Portugal shirt which is the Euro 2016 winning shirt I have all the European championship shirts of Portugal uh, as I said, I don't like the um, template. I actually like it on the back much better than on the front. I don't like the template too much, but the Portugal jersey is one of the finer ones of these. So with the green stripe here, I think it makes a whole lot of sense. Of course, I wish that either this cuts a little bit lower here or the green could go all the way on the front, but I think this is a nice jersey. The nicer thing about it, I got it half price a year after they won it at a regular store. That was for me a no-brainer to buy it last year. A lot less shirts here. A few are in the laundry, but most of them uh, will not be too many left. I think I have only two in the laundry now. So yeah, it will get empty here. Maybe by the end of this tournament I won't wear soccer shirts anymore. We'll see. Okay, let me know what you thought about the game, about jersey matchup, about my emptying Rack here, closet is gonna get full again. So yeah, I'll talk to you soon tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.